Hello, Pisces. This is your December 2021. So, Pisces, the message that comes up for you so far today for December is showing about the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is usually a representative of fiery, active, creative. It talks about having a lot of spirit like spunk right now. The month of December, you're going to find yourself accepting challenges and wanting to conquer certain things or reach certain goals. It's kind of like you get inspired very quickly. It also feels like your enthusiasm, your loyalty. It's almost like um, you're full of life right now. December is bringing about another side of you, a side that hasn't been out for a long time. For a lot of you, Pisces, you, it seems that you are holding back for quite some time or not feeling uh, like doing much. Something took away your incentive or your motive. It almost feels like uh, things might have gotten a bit stagnant over the past couple months. Next to the Page of Wands looks like the Ten of Wands for you as well. Because with the Ten of Wands, it feels like in the past, you were quite burdened by many responsibilities. Things that consumed a lot of your time or consumed a lot of your energy. For a lot of you, you had to finally realize that having the Ten of Wands, having those responsibilities, those commitments, those overwhelming um, demands on you, it, it kind of taught you to kind of shrug off your load a little bit, kind of like to uh, put your own needs first. There was too much stress in your life. There was way too much pressure on your shoulders for the last couple of months. Things, something just finally had to break. You know, it, it came to a point where you couldn't go on that way which is where the page of wands started to come in because once you finally realize that, you know what, you can't fix everybody's problem or everybody's situation. You can't control people's choices and decisions. And then the page of wands shows up to say, you know what? You got to follow your own creativity. You've got to do things that are going to make you happy. You've got to push forward, focus on you. For a lot of you, again, with the page of wands, Something may require a lot of work, faith, and commitment. But for right now, you're just going to have fun. You're going to be happy. You're going to enjoy your time. You're going to be playful. You're going to do a lot of things that are not so stressed out. as like so stressful that feels real serious or um, overwhelming. It's not that kind of pressure at all. Follow what you love. Keep moving toward the activities that you enjoy in the month of December, okay? Also coming up in the month of December for you is, in fact, the King of Wands. So as you are enjoying your situation, as you're enjoying the work that you're doing right now, as you're enjoying the freedom from having the Ten of Wands all around you with all the pressure and overwhelming feelings, um, feeling like it's too much to bear, I get it, but now... Being the King of Wands or taking on the persona of the King of Wands. This King of Wands is it's kind of like it's showing that you're a self starter. It's showing that you know, um, you have a lot of kindness and you're very creative, and it shows that. You can be very intense at times, powerful even. For some of you, even intimidating. For some of you, it's the knowledge that you have that scares people. It's the fact of being very logical. It's the fact of being very truthful. You also don't show anyone your weakness or fear of challenges. Even though you may have some, even though you may be hesitant a little bit, you're not willing to show somebody that you're defeated or that you're afraid. With this card, with the King of Wands, it's making you look at your own power for a change. 
You know, it's true that you are the master of your own life. And you do know and understand that the things that have happened to you, even in the past, have been caused by thoughts, words, and actions. Everything that you've done. All the choices and decisions that you've made. But at the same time, you're, you're wanting to learn another way as well. You're wanting to keep your creativity. You're wanting to keep your desires. But you're wanting to be able to enjoy life a little bit more. Just a little bit more. So the next card that comes up, it seems that you have a lot of wands going on here. Um, because the next card comes up, talks about the queen of wands. And when we talk about the queen of wands, this, this lady, or this energy, male or female actually, um, can tend to, and I'm going to show you this because I think it's important that you see, you like you look at it. So with the queen of wands, definitely self-assured. Lots of personal magnetism, absolutely. It's like, you know what, this person, like you, has explored their dark soul, like the things that in life that came out and helped to transform you, turned you into a different person, so to speak. This is a person who balances very easily and who likes to create with a radiant self-assurance type of energy. This person gets very much drawn or attracted to enthusiasm, commitment. This person is not a person to take their, their job or their duties lightly. This card is inspiring you, male or female, who's reading and watching this to go for your dreams. Make your own dreams. Create your own dreams. Don't stop until you've reached what it is that your goal seems to be. It's also a message for you right now. Again, about going for your dreams, but also to help you to commit big time to your passion and your desires, like I said. Now, for some of you, with the world card... With the world card. With the world card. So we know with the world card that there can be ends and beginnings. We know that the world card can have a lot of wonderful opportunities in it. We also know that the world card has an ending and a beginning to it. Now for some of you who tend to see the negative side of things... This card is going to try to help you to look in a better or different direction. But this card also can be a card of closure. So I want you to understand, and I'm going to turn the camera a little bit this way. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. So when we're talking about the world card, again, it's about closure. It's talking about you fulfilled your purpose and your goal in certain situations. It's also the end of a cycle. As you can see, I wrote notes on this. Um, again, I'm not really a tarot reader, so it's kind of difficult for me because my psychic abilities want to come through. So sometimes this card can mean beginning again with the full card, either learning a new lesson or experiencing the same lesson, but at a deeper level. So for some of you, you may get a new lesson in front of you or you may have to go back and repeat the same lesson but at another level. Sometimes it can mean going on an adventure or if you're wanting to take a long trip or relocate to another location. This card is clearly saying that it is very much clear and very positive if you're wanting to take a new path or if you are on a new path or a new journey. The next card that comes up for you 
in fact, is the strength card. And I love the strength card for you guys because of the fact that you do have more strength than you even imagine. During the month of December, you're going to find a way to make things work. You're going to find a way to prove to somebody that the lessons that you've learned and the strength that you gained, especially when you understand fully and accept all the aspects of yourself. It, you definitely know deep down in your soul that you have that inner strength to overcome this obstacle that seems to be in your way right now during the month of December. Yeah, you're going to get tested. Yep. But you don't care. Because you know that you can handle whatever comes your way. You know you've got this. You have worked so hard and diligently to get to where you are now. For some of you, you had one hell of a setback either one or two years ago. And this setback was just a setup because now you're in so much of a better place. And the good news is during the month of December, once again, you'll meet another challenge. Whether that's an old challenge and it's a deeper level of an old challenge or it is a brand new challenge. But either way, you are going to be the victor. You're going to come out on top. There might be lessons that are about trust and betrayal. Maybe even friends and enemies. Or maybe even the facade versus reality. But you have the courage and the inner confidence to survive and thrive through. Not just to survive it, but to thrive through it. Through all of it. So you know what? Your reading for December may be short, but let me tell you, it is sweet. Because all it's saying is that you've got the power within you to handle any situation, lessons, you can separate the truth from from the fake. You can you can tell um, when somebody's lying. Right now, let me tell you, you are truly on point. I dare anybody to try to cross your path in a non-ethical kind of way, in a very non-conformative type of way. Somebody is going to regret if they try to screw you over. Not a good idea this month. So not a good idea this month. And you're also very protective around family and friends. So with that being said, you know what? You're December. Man, you're a fireball right now. You're a fireball. You are full of energy. God bless this month. God bless. And anybody who tries to screw with you, God bless them. <laughs>